There are two different spots on the side of the fuselage where you will be inserting bolts and brackets to hold the wing lift strut brackets on. One of them is right at the base of where the landing gear will attach. Now my landing gear has been moved aft by 11 inches and I did not shift the hole for the uh, for the wing lift strut attachment. Let's see if I can point it out to you here. Hold my finger out here. Now right at the tip of my finger there's a black hole there on the original landing gear strut. That is one of the attach points. That is where the rear or the aft lift strut for the wing lift strut bracket will be attached to. Going forward on the launch run, now I have some uh, aluminum on the side there which um, is going to be covered up by fabric but that's forming a backdrop for some storage compartments I've put up inside the cockpit. Forward of that is a hole that I've kind of, <laughs> you can see it, this, this was scrap aluminum, it's very thin, it tears very easy. Then of course I have some naugahyte on the other side of it but there's a hole there and behind that there is a hole that is in the Longeron where the forward lift strut will attach to the side of the fuselage. So those are the two points where the uh, lift strut brackets will attach. Down here is the brackets, the other brackets I was telling you about for the landing gear. Now I'm going to point something out here. The move the camera over slightly. I'm using a, a tripod but I am moving this thing around by hand. If you look at my bracket there you can see that it's pulled in or tightened in. I, I inserted a bolt that I thought was the correct bolt uh, to attach that landing gear weldment to that bracket. Now that bracket is in turn attached to the fuselage by the use of another bolt that's held on with a self-locking nut. However, you do not want to make the mistake of using the wrong or the too short bolts. It's an AN5 bolt in there and as you can see I have a castellated nut on it. But it was a short bolt and because it was short as I tighten that down to uh, set the screw and get the um, the hole aligned up where I could put a cotter pin in. You can see how it's pulled that bracket in, bent it inward. This places an undue amount of stress on that bracket which you do not want to happen on your aircraft. So I'm going to have to pull the gear off of there and change that bolt out. Now I'm thinking what I can do is I, I have a what I call a blank bolt. It's a bolt that I've uh, ground down the end of it to make a bullet out of it. I can take that nut off of there right off the back side here. Let's see if I can point to whoops. Yeah, well, I'm not going to be able to do that. Anyways, that nut right there will come out and then maybe I can drive that bolt out with the bullet and then put the correct bolt back in there. I don't know. I've got the bungee cords on and I don't really want to have to unwrap those puppies because if you can see on my case I have to remove the fuel tank to get to it since I've moved those back by 11 inches so some changes that have to be made and uh, in the next segment of this video I'm going to show you the correct hardware and how to identify it